right? So anyway, it's it's unrealistic anyway to even think like that. It's like somebody uh trying to you know come spend their money. I'm gonna hit the lottery. I'm gonna hit the mega millions. It's very unlikely you're going to hit that, right? So at some point, you need to take your money and start investing in other things than just constantly spending. Uh, hundreds of dollars on this lottery ticket for mega millions and you're never going to win probably like 0.005 percent of people may win that right so you you betting on something that's uh where all the odds are stacked against you so that's how i say i'm just saying that uh that's not a good game plan right for life oh uh, i want a rich man or, or nothing else that's ridiculous you're gonna end up with nothing else can i bring a different perspective yeah yeah go ahead um, i think in the modern age, I know like modern women seem to be mm -hmm. uh, an issue for some men. I don't think it's so much that women, adult women desire a rich man. We understand that for a lot of us, that's unattainable. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in general with women just being more advanced in our own education and our careers and being having prolonged singleness, a lot of us have mm -hmm. created a lifestyle for ourselves that we've been able to enjoy we can travel, right. we can right. spend our money on things that maybe, you know, we, our parents didn't, weren't able to do like vacations or mm -hmm. material mm -hmm. possessions. And right, so right. when a woman is seeking a partner, it's not so much that she wants a man who's rich. She just wants a man who's able mm -hmm. to provide for her the same lifestyle that she's been able to provide for herself. That's myself included. I'm no different. I would never want to be with a man who can't give me what I haven't been, what I have been already to provide myself with. Like, I'm not going to lower my standard of living just so I can say that I'm in a relationship with a man. It's not, I'd rather be single. I understand that also. But at the same time, the higher you, the higher you go up in bracket, the less your options become. Do you agree with I that? Disagree. No, I don't agree with that. Um, I you think don't that. Agree with that? No, not at all. I think with okay. women, we have to be strategists when we're dating. Like if I'm in school, I'm working on a bachelor's or a master's or just any advanced education, I would surround mm -hmm. myself who are also working on their bachelor's or their master's or possibly mm -hmm. even a doctorate. And those mm -hmm. are the men that I would socialize with. I wouldn't socialize myself with someone who isn't at my level already. Okay, that makes sense. Well, uh, a lot of women are not in the same circles of rich men. Do you agree with that? I would say even a lot of men aren't in the same circles of rich men. Water but, speaks at one level is what I'm right, saying. I, I see what you're saying, but women who want a rich man, right? Most of them, the majority of them are not in the same circles. They don't oh, move in the course. same circles that rich men move in, right? right you may right. be moving in that circle, Leslie, but majority of women do not move in that circle, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, which goes back to saying that the odds are stacked against them. They may not be stacked against you. Then you will you will be what we would call an exception, you know, almost an anomaly. So, I mean, for the average woman, she's not going to see that, right? The only thing she has is a hope and a wish for a rich man. Uh, she's not in the same circle. So, if you know if you know it's hard to attain that, right? At some point, you have to sell. Well, it's not even selling it. At some point, if you want to be with somebody, let me say that because not all women want to be. Some, some people just happily being single. But if you want to eventually get married and you want to be with someone, at mm -hmm. some point, you got to be willing to accept a mm -hmm. average man uh, or above average man. But this rich and lavish lifestyle, more than likely, you're not going to be able to get that. That's what and I meant by that statement. I don't think most women desire that lifestyle. Average men get married every single day, but an average man, an average isn't low. You know, there's below average, there's average, then they're exceeding, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Average uh -huh. men get married every single day to, to women. So um, that's true. So that's true. I guess what I'm I, saying, I'm, I'm talking about the standard, though, the standard, what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. So well, I know uh, so. average like men get married all the time. Right. Go, if go you ahead. Daughter, I'm sorry to cut y'all. If you had a daughter or even if you were a woman and you were able to provide for yourself throughout mm -hmm. your 20s, because, you know, marriage is never a guarantee. People, life goes on. You, you have to take care of yourself financially. True. Would you encourage yourself or your daughter to marry a man who's beneath that means in order for her just to say that she's married. I mean, uh, it's not, well, I don't want her to just say that she's married. I'm saying if you want a lifetime partner, right. And 
what you're choosing is not working out for you. What I'm saying is, see, see, this is the thing, too. We got to admit, uh, let's see, women required to act, uh, marry someone at their level or above. Most men don't think like that, right? So more so right. women think like that. See, that's, that's where the problem comes in. A man would easily take someone beneath them and bring them up easily, easily. Mm -hmm. men, men would do that. But women, for some reason, anytime they're making a certain amount of money, I need someone at my level or above immediately. I don't know why it's like that. This is the way the world is. So basically what I would tell my daughter, I would, I would tell, like I would tell any, anybody, look, uh, if what you aiming for, you know, the odds are stacked against you and time is steady ticking, right? You need to be willing to accept what you're able to get, right? It's just, I mean, it's just that simple. You know, if you want to eventually cash in on someone, don't wait till you get 55 and, oh, I want to do, you know, uh, your values start to uh, decline, you know, the older you get. So you got to recognize that. And it's still competition out in the world. So at some point, if you want to raise a family, you know, every woman eggs have a, a chef life. You know, you got to understand that. So you can't be pity patting around, think you finna get something that you're not going to get. So I would just be honest with her, just have a real talk with her. Hey, look, you, you, the person you're looking for, you can't find. Do you eventually want to get a family? Hey, you need to, because uh, there's plenty of men that's, you know, acceptable, presentable, that's making enough, right? Uh, that you can elope with and, you know, have a family and raise and uh, eventually grow old with them. So that's how I would, that's exactly what I would tell her. That's a lot to unpack. And I'd like to chime in if I may, or just respond to you. I want to go back to the income, um, hypogamy versus hypergamy. Men are hypogamous, meaning that they're more likely to marry down economically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Women are hypergamous, so they tend to marry men who are above their financial stature, you know, right? Here's yeah, right. three reasons for that. When a woman has children, she has to take time off of work to raise those kids, which will True. require one person to produce income. So the True. reason why a woman is programmed to, perce uh, to pursue a man who has mm -hmm. enough money or mm -hmm. a higher earning man is so that she's able to live comfortably at home as she raises your kids and your family, takes mm -hmm. care of the domestics, looks after uh, your uh, her in-laws. You know, that's the reason <laughs> why women right. are programmed to, uh, to seek men who are higher earning. Also, a man who is higher earning is going to have more access. Access could be academics, getting True. better schools, finding a home in a nice neighborhood, um, having access to, to, to hospitals. Like, you, you see what I mean? Like, there's a whole, True. it's economics. Like, marriage is an economic, con mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a contract, right? It's a financial right. contract. True. The whole, like, living lavish, taking extravagant vacations, um, showering your 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 girlfriend or your wife with gifts. That's a bonus. When I'm searching for a partner, it's not because I want to be showered with lavish gifts. I know that I want to be a mother. And as a woman who wants to be a mother, I know that mm -hmm. I want to be at home raising my children, which means mm -hmm. I can't allow myself to be in a relationship with a man that I'm living paycheck to paycheck with. Um, as far as encouraging your daughter to like, you know, just kind of settle down, get married. I think that we have to start having conversations in our households with our children as their children mm -hmm. about financial mm -hmm. literacy and mm -hmm. the important uh, the importance of the legal contract of marriage because it's so much more than a piece of paper, right? That right. one piece of paper is um well it should be a guarantee for generational wealth, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right. Acquisitions of uh, property inheritance, uh pensions, mm -hmm. just money that you can pass down transgenerationally. Right. The last point I want to make before I drop down, you mm -hmm. mentioned that women are kind of like on this time frame of, you know, when we have value, when we're able to have kids, mm -hmm. the path of getting into a relationship is not linear. You know, we all have a different path. There are some people who meet the love of their lives when they're five years old, they reconnect mm -hmm. when they're in their early 20s, mm -hmm. they stay together forever. There are some right. couples that don't meet that person until they're in their 40s and they still have kids. So I don't personally talk to women or even men about a specific age when they should get married. Um, I prefer to have conversations about just really how to be the best person that you personally can be right now because marriage is never guaranteed. Even That's if you true. get married, there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to have children. If you have children, there's no guarantee that your kids are going to outlive you. There are no promises. That's true. Uh, so, well, uh, you also got to take into the uh, an account that, uh, right, let's say you don't have any kids, right, Lexi, 
and uh, eventually you're going to get married, right? So you got to take yeah. into account that uh, more than likely that man going to want a child or children, right? So you got to take that into account for time also. So that and when you plan on getting married, all those things take, you know, it, I mean, it's a factor, right? So time does plays a part the older you get, right? So it's going to, it just it can't help but to play. Like you say, okay, 40 years, some women still, but, but still, at that age, time start being a factor. No, it absolutely does. right. And I'll drop down because I know Tommy has story and I actually do have to clock back into work. But all I'm saying, yes, marriage is relevant. I definitely think mm-hmm. for part, people who desire to be married, we mm-hmm. should have those conversations before they're right, 30 right. years old. True, but true, let's true. Keep in mind, in America, the divorce rate is 50% right now. We know that women are more likely to file for divorce. Yes, but we also yes. know that the highest divorce rate is amongst those between the ages of 18 and 25 years old. Mm. Mm. People who wait until they're a little older to get married tend to have more success. Right. Um, but I'm going to be listening in. I'm going to drop down because I do. Okay. Have to thank work. you, Lisa. For, you, know, yeah. you definitely yeah, made some good you. points. Thank you so much. Thank you.